guys, what's up? Outdoorsman99 here. And, uh, it took me seven days to get a squirrel. And it took me one whole week to get one squirrel. And, um, in this video, you'll see me with my new pellet gun shooting at squirrels, bombing squirrels, and everything. And the last squirrel you will see me shoot at, I shot out, I shot at with a little. Daisy Powerline 880. They're just the cheap $40 pump pellet guns. I put a cheap scope on it. Well, it came with my $100 gun, my pellet gun. So, I don't know. It, it wasn't working good for my pellet gun. So, what we did, well, what I did, is I grabbed my Daisy, slapped the scope on there, sighted it in, and it works fine. But, I was popping sparrows with it. So, I thought, pump it up 15, 16 times, drop a squirrel with it, and see a problem with it. I aim for the head, you know, it, it would drop, it would be dead. And, up here in my front tree, okay, so, I walk outside, I was actually, I was actually coming out here to set up a target. I was replacing that one. That's exactly what I was doing. And I looked up in my front tree, and I seen a squirrel. So, and this happened just less than 30 minutes ago, and I got my squirrel laying right here in front of me. And I got one glove on, because this hand is cut really bad on my thumb. Uh, so, I need to wear gloves. And, took a couple of shots with the Powerline 880. I thought I hit it. I heard a thud, and I just looked over the squirrel. There ain't nothing but a headshot, and all you guys will see is, at the end of the video, you guys will just kind of see me, you know, saying, oh, there's a squirrel up there, there's a squirrel up there. I'll shoot. I'll miss. Okay. I'll end that clip. I'll go to the next clip, and that will be when I have it reloaded again, all pumped up and ready to go. And there's a bunch of sparrows over there, so I might have to go get my gun here soon. I'm going to see if there's any on the ground. No, they're just on my neighbor's fence line, but I have to wait till they come down the ground and then shoot them. Anyways, I thought I shot this guy. In, the in like, the chest cavity. Because he just kind of barked, jumped, and then... Ran back up the tree. And so I, in the, at the end of the last clip, I said, I got him. I'll be back with you guys once I got him. Dead or something. I said something like that. Well, I ended up figuring out that the air chamber in my Powerline A80, there's a little, it's like a little cylinder in there. And it keeps all your air in there. Well... It's cracked or something because it's losing air really quick. I'll pump it up ten times and it goes. It, you can just hear it going, shh, pushing out the air, which it's not supposed to do that. But I've had the garden for I think two or three years now, and I've left it outside and everything, so I didn't take good care of it, which is my fault. And so I thought I hit it. I didn't. I ran back inside, got my new gun, which you guys will be able to see within the clips. And shot it dead in the head, and now it's laying here. But the first clip you guys will see, I'll be sighting it in. And just kind of, it'll be at night, so you guys won't really be able to see anything. Other than that, I still got to see if my intro will combine with this video. Because I made a new intro, and I like it. And a bunch of other people I talk to like it. So, yeah. And then all the other clips will be squirrel hunting. But the video does kind of cut out. Just after, like, that last clip, it just cuts out. That was because I was too focused on getting the squirrel. And I was I didn't want to get my phone out. And all that. Anyways, just know, I do got a squirrel. And I got the gamble. I just got this on Christmas. Haven't been able to use it yet. And... Uh, Weeby, or Webby, or Weeby, I don't know what you call it, 
skinning knife. So I'm going to skin him up and be on with the video. So I've been trying to find the uh, perfect color for a gamo, or not gamo, sorry, Crossman F4. You guys can see this. I was aiming right here, and I took two shots. All these are from Crossman Premier Pointed, except for this one and this one. All the other ones are Crossman Premier, and then all of those I was aiming right here. So, I started aiming right here, made another little target right here, and first shot with the Gamo Red Fire pellet shot up there, and then literally shot dead in the uh, dead in the bullseye. So I, I'm thinking it's liking the uh, the Gamma a little better. As you see, my light's kind of fading. So I'm actually having to turn on the flashlight to see. But um, my mom said she sees some turkeys here in the alley. So maybe this will be a squirrel and turkey hunting video. But it all depends on tomorrow because tomorrow we're supposed to have a snow day for school. So it's supposed to get like six inches. So if I see a turkey out here, I might have to take a shot. And here we got some runs and shot up some groundhogs and stuff. They actually got to eat in this woods over here. Anyways, next time you guys see me, I'll hopefully be on, on something to shoot. Alright, guys, it's gonna be quite the day. I'm actually going to walk it out here and take a shot. I'm using some spray ammo. I'm using some Gamma Red Fire Pellet. Pretty good target. That was like 13.4 grams or 13.4 grams. And I'm going to zoom down here so you guys can see that. Pretty good target. Oh, that's Somehow get to harvest him or I'll be back at you guys like a thousand dead on the ground. Alright, so there's a squirrel. Right up there. I'm gonna take a shot at it. It's a crazy power like 880 out here. I missed it. I sat down and let him on the ground. Alright, I'm gonna reload it. I'll zoom you guys in.